Hey everyone! I hope that your day is going... Alright, I'm going to try this for like the 10th time now. My camera keeps falling, so... Yeah! Great! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and maybe you got yourself a cup of coffee or tea or a bottle of water or whatever. Just make yourself comfortable. Um, this shouldn't be too long, but I'm going to cover a few things. Alright, I'm going to get right into it. So I've been a vegetarian for 12 weeks now. I started on June 22nd, so it's been 12 whole weeks, although it hasn't been three full months. During this time, I've received some questions on social media. If you're not following me on social media, I'm going to leave all the links down below. There's a few questions that I keep getting over and over again, so I'm just going to answer them here. The first question is why I became a vegetarian, and the main reason why I became a vegetarian is for my health. Now, I don't have any food allergies or any intolerances or anything, so this is purely from research and what I personally think. So, you may not agree with what I'm going to say, but that's fine, we are all entitled to our own opinion. The reason why I became a vegetarian is, I did, I've been thinking about it actually for like a long time, like at least a year before I actually decided that I'm going to go for it. So, I was really thinking about it, I did a lot of research, I also like informed myself as much as I could, whenever I could. I then decided that if I was going to become a vegetarian, I just needed to do it. Like, why Why was I putting it off for so long? Like, what, what was stopping me? And I decided that nothing was stopping me. I was mostly just stopping myself because I was doubting if I could do it or not. So I just thought, what the heck, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So that's what I did. But I had reasons, like, for doing it, obviously. The reason was health. I read and I researched that meat is not really that good for you at all and I really wasn't eating that much meat to begin with. I was eating mostly chicken and fish so when I sat down and really thought about it I thought I'm really not going to miss out on so much. I already don't eat much meat and as a vegetarian I can still still eat eggs and, and cheese so I realized that I don't know what I was like waiting for. Health is my main reason. Now, a lot of people are vegetarians and it's because of the animals. Now, it is a plus, it is a bonus that I'm saving animals by not eating meat, but for me, that is not the reason why I'm a vegetarian. Take that as you want. It is for my health that I'm doing this, not for anything else. And the second question people, some people have been asking is, was it hard or has it been hard? And the short answer to this is no. It's been surprisingly easy and that's what I tell people when they ask. And the reason for that is because I was ready. I did research, I had reasons why I was going vegetarian and I also, um, I did it cold turkey, so I just kind of decided one day that's it, I'm not eating any more meat. I also had a goal of trying it out for 12 weeks, so that's where I am now, and I reached that goal, and my goal was to try it out for 12 weeks and see how it's going, how I'm feeling, and I'm actually feeling good, I'm doing good. I've noticed some differences. So that's why it hasn't been hard. I mean, I was ready for it. If you're not ready, then I would assume that it would be hard. You need to figure out what you like and stick to that. For me, that's what's been um, helpful as well, is that I figured out what I liked. And I'm the type of person that I can eat the same thing over and over again, so that's not really been too much of an issue. Things I've noticed, like changes, unfortunately, I forgot to weigh myself when I first started because I just don't really weigh myself that often, so I forgot. And that's one thing that I regret. I wish I would have weighed myself so that I could have weighed myself now and see like if I noticed a difference in my weight. I've noticed a difference 
in bloating. So I noticed that I'm a lot less bloated even after I eat a meal. I get less of a food baby, I guess you could say. So that's been a plus for me. Other than that, I haven't really noticed too much difference. But like I said, I wasn't a very big meat eater before and I already ate very clean and healthy. So I didn't change my lifestyle that much. So that I'm thinking that's why I didn't see much of a difference. Some tips that I have for you guys if you're thinking about going vegetarian or if you are a beginner, I would say that like I mentioned earlier, you need to have good reasons. You can't just say, oh, I'm just going to go vegetarian. You really need to figure out what your reasons are and you need to constantly be reminding yourself of those reasons and you just need to stick with it. You need to have dedication. I think that if you have good reasons, that is a, you'll do good. You need to have a plan and you need to stick to it. You need to do some research beforehand to make sure that you are getting the proper nutrients that you need. Another thing that people ask me a lot is, you must not be getting enough protein in your diet and things like that. The thing is, is that you really don't get that much protein from eating a steak. You really don't. I probably get more protein than someone who eats a steak, so I'm not too worried about that. The thing that you need to worry about is other nutrients, so if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables and good things like that, you will lack in other things that are in meat, such as iron. So you need to make sure that you are getting enough, and if you are not, you need to figure out a way to supplement that. My fourth tip is don't listen to others. Like I mentioned, I often get comments from the peanut gallery over here saying, uh, oh, like, are you going to be vegetarian forever? Like, you're, you're not getting enough food, all this stuff, typical stuff. Don't listen to what others say. I find that a lot of people are not educated on the subject and they feel like they know more than you know and they don't. So I just really, it goes in here, comes out here, and I kind of just forget about it. I know that what I'm doing is the right thing for me. I've been doing it for three months now and I haven't had any issues. So when people say something, I just ignore it and you should too. It's like everything else. People always have something to say about what you're doing. So yeah, just don't worry about it. My last tip is produce, produce, produce. Make sure that you are eating enough. If you are eating enough, then you don't have to worry about nutrients and stuff like that because you will be getting plenty. But if you're a junk eating vegetarian or you know what I mean, like you, you don't eat meat but you eat like a lot of junk instead, then you might um, lack some nutrients and you might want to make sure that you're getting enough and if you are not then you want to make sure that you are supplementing to keep yourself healthy. I also want to share with you guys some uh, meatless protein that I've really been enjoying. I think that it could be helpful to you guys. I like to eat protein pancakes. I pretty much just make them from scratch with eggs, bananas and I add like a few other things like protein powder and you can find that recipe up on my blog. I will um, post links to that below. I also really enjoy tofu and I also have a tofu bite recipe on my blog which I will link below. But I like tofu a lot of different ways as well. I found out that tofu will take the taste of anything that you cook it with so you can marinate it. I've also even like grilled it on the George Foreman and that was really good as well with some barbecue sauce. Like tofu is very versatile. You can even use it in desserts and stuff like that. So definitely I would experiment with tofu, but it is um, made with soy and I found out very quickly that soy doesn't agree with me and it, like it doesn't agree with me in big quantities, so it makes me break out. So I try to eat tofu not more than three times a week and I find that that keeps my acne, um, like, at bay. The next thing that I like is meatless chicken and I 
buy this at Walmart in the organic slash vegetarian frozen section. And I have a full review of this meatless chicken up on my blog, so I will link to that as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do some shameless advertising like that. The two last things that I like to eat from time to time is protein shakes. Now I'm not crazy over protein shakes, and I can't say that I drink that many. But if you do like protein shakes, it's a good option. I also enjoy Cliff Bars. Those are the only protein bars that I eat, and I really enjoy those. <laughs> That's it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos and would like to see more videos, please give it a thumbs up and I will be sure to make more videos. Now I am going to go indulge in my guilty pleasure that is Teen Mom. I don't get uh, MTV here so I have to wait an extra day to watch it on MTV.ca and I don't mind because I can miss the uh, commercials. But yeah, that's enough of Teen Mom. I am now going to edit this video and post it for you guys tomorrow. Also, I wish you guys a wonderful weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye!